to make sure the end of time ends on time. This way, this way, Mrs. Is Rocket. You go on stage from here. Now you've already met our classical tenor. Hello again, Ludo. It's Ludwig, please. Ludwig, the song. Which one are you today? We're still all four of us at the same time, as you well know. I was surprised that you agreed to this last duet. Or should that be quintet? As you know, Mr. Song, you were both selected as the most successful musicians throughout time and space, since Lemmy became his own sentient universe. You're the very best we have to play us out of this one. I'll leave you here for a minute. With all the people from across time and space in the audience, you can imagine the logistics are a nightmare. Caesar's legions are trying to muscle in the front row. Oh, we passed Stalin's Red Army in the queue outside. Don't put them next to each other. Please, can't we have the Austro-Hungrians in the front row? Now they were good listeners, really cultured barbarians. Look, you sing, I'll organise the halls. So are you nervous? A couple of us are, but we were not more nervous when we played the Rings of Saturn. They were totally out of tune. Oh look, Alpha Centauri is collapsing in on itself. That's pretty. Like a starfish, curling up to sleep. Reminds us a bit of the Earth back the final, where they hired all those giant savage monster tulips, and they ended up eating half the audience. Ah oh yes, the final. How far we've come from a humble talent show to playing at the last gig at the end of time. Is that Napoleon? Oh yes, he's always hanging around for autographs. He's got a bit of a complex. But he wasn't at the final. Oh, I saw him at the after-show party, but uh, you'd gone off somewhere by then. We were going to re recharge. All the excitement of winning took all our energy. And with his new cybernetic bodies, we needed a full charge to be able to dance as much as we had planned to that night. Oh, yes. All that excitement of winning. Here comes the clock watcher. Hello. Just been to Frost in the North and South Poles, Stan. Turns out the polar bears are big fans of yours, Mrs. Rocket. They've come along. They're in the audience right now, nibbling on the Romans. Oh, yes. All the animals are into our round of dirty thrush. Except the cetaceans. They have a more classical ear. I remember how the last blue whale's tears froze against Neptune's surface like diamonds when I sang my eulogy to the space-locked seas. Ah, oh, well, got a dash. I've got to make sure the last Royal Futurologist Society before the end of the universe ends on time. Decide amongst yourselves who sings first. You've got exactly 14 minutes. Ah, yes. The order of performances. Should we flip a coin? We believe that by winning the Earth Factor, we prove to be the people's choice. We plan to finish with our famous finale. We think that would be best. The universe should go out with a bang, not a whimper. A whimper? Is that what you think of my voice? You know what we mean. Your style of singing. It's not exactly popular choice, is it? I was officially given the oceans to use as my own personal orchestra, and then won two of recycling awards for doing so. God damn it, how can that possibly not be a popular choice? Oh, put a sock in it, Ludo. You're getting all upset over nothing. We're just saying that we won the competition when we were all up against each other. It just makes sense that we, I mean I, headline tonight. But we both know that wasn't fair. How could you possibly have competed in the individual category whilst you are so obviously many persons in one body? We may have been an all-girl group in our individual human bodies. The most successful four-piece dirty trash group this side of 20 cents, I might add. But when we had our brains downloaded into the cyber body, we became an individual rocket selling, and that individual won the competition. We tried to explain that to you that night after the party. Did you? Oh, you may have one wonderful body rocket, but you still speak with many voices. It's confusing. Dear, dear, Stephen Hawking.
Nosy so-and-so. He wheeled himself up too close for a better look at that black hole. Now he's fallen in and smeared himself infinitely across the event horizon. Are you ready? We want to know which one of us is to go on stage first. Well, Mrs. Rocket came first in the competition, so she will headline. Well, in that case, I will not sing at all. The voice that calmed the storms of Jupiter will not be muted for the sake of a, a schizophrenic hissing kettle. You pompous off! To think we thought you were sensitive, that you cared. You're just like any other man, man we've ever met in the music industry. No wonder the universe is ending. How could this possibly be large enough to contain your ego? I am got time for this. I have to go wind up the neighborhood watch. Thank you, everyone. Time for one last song, 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 song. Oh no, our software is crash, crash, crashing, losing my, our, my, our voice, 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 voice. No time, time. Oh no, bollocks. Oh, Rocket, I'm sorry, so sorry. I shouldn't have been jealous. I was just so, so confused. Losing out to someone I thought was so, so special. Now there's no time left to say that I love you. Time, time, L love, love, love me. Oh, Ludo, you rebooted me. Let's, let's sing together. Yes, let's sing the stars to sleep. <laughs> 